What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at SEMA and you know, these, these big things, these are cool, don't get me wrong. The big vehicles, expensive stuff, that's cool. But sometimes it's the little things that make SEMA special. There's a place here called Sea Sucker. They got this big octopus up here. And I thought this was really cool because this is a product that is not too expensive, but really helpful. So if you have a vehicle that, that's not set up for, you know, overlanding or off-roading in general, you don't have racks, you don't have trailer hitches, you don't have anything, but you still want to carry your bikes, stand up, paddle boards, your canoes, whatever, you still can do that with these things called sea suckers. And as long as you have a smooth, flat surface, you can mount a rack to your roof. And it's crazy strong. Look at that, it actually can hold your bike on the back of the car, hanging off the back of your car without losing your bike. And I know that sounds crazy because you might have a $1,000 bike, a $5,000 bike, but just one of these sea suckers alone can hold the bike. They have the triple sea suckers just as redundancy for backup. And he even shows how if one of these fail, the single sea sucker is enough to hold the bike up. It's crazy. I'll show you that here in a second. Go for it. Detach. Pump. Keep pumping until the orange indicator band uh, disappears. It's a nice, quick, easy visual way of knowing. Uh, now you have over 210 pounds of pull force. If you oh, want to wow. give that a yank. Yeah. 210 pounds, huh? 210 pounds. Damn. First six inch sea sucker. Wow, that's cool. Everything that you see here is utilizing the vacuum. Look, I'm moving the whole truck. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. The rooftop tent, the uh, stand up paddleboard, kayak, bike racks. That is cool. Uh, everything is vacuum mounted. Wow. All USA made. I like that. Florida. Uh, nothing overseas. How, how much is uh, just one of these if you were to buy just one? Uh, so, this is a rear wheel cut. This comes with the uh, bike racks. Okay. But if you wanted to purchase a six inch sea sucker, uh, I believe it's 69. 69 bucks. Okay. So obviously it goes up from there depending on what what style you buy, right? That's correct. So, so everything you see here are complete products. So it's uh, a complete package. I got gotcha. you. So it's not you don't have to individually purchase each thing to build it. Gotcha. That would be no good. It'd be, yeah, it'd be crazy. Yeah. How'd you get it off? I'm sorry, I missed that. Absolutely. Very touch that thing. It pops out. We're gonna pump it back on. You see the sea sucker flatten. To take it off, really easy. You can see the tabs. Take your finger, kind of press in and up. Oh. You'll see four six inch sea suckers on it. So if I fail three out of the four. Oh. Not coming anyway. That's impressive. So if one of the sea suckers fail, you still have the other ones that are that are strong enough to hold your stuff up for the most part. So here's an example of the sea suckers being used to mount a rooftop tent. So if you don't have the uh, built-in mounts for crossbars, or you don't have gutters to put the clamps for crossbars, just use these sea suckers and it'll hold it on there. Here again is another uh, bike mount here, hanging off the back. As you can see, it's just, it's just hanging off the back. And he said to pull them, and we were pulling on them, and they hold really well. Like I can move this whole Jeep, watch this. I can move this whole Jeep just by pulling on it. That's crazy. They got a high lift jack mounted. They got LED lights mounted. Nothing is permanent. You could run it for a day and then take it off at the end of the day. Look at this, here's a good example. A Tesla, this is definitely not made to carry anything. But if you wanted to, you could put a cargo bag on top. This is a waterproof cargo bag. And just mount it right to the top. Part of it is on um, the sheet metal and part of it's on the glass. Doesn't matter. This guy's got his skis on here. If you want to go up to Tahoe for the weekend, you can carry your snowboard, your skis on your, your Tesla. So, what? you got to be as big as well. Oh, is yesterday. that is I'm that that uh, drop stitch technology yes, under is. here? This is drop stitch. Oh, that's okay. I was, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, drop that, stitch. 
Yeah, but also the owner was mad because he came back with a 35. I told you. <laughs> That's crazy. So that thing is tough, man. Yeah, and as the EV market continues to uh, rise, this is going to be it, dude. I, this yeah. is going to change the market. Oh, it makes the vehicles versatile. You can do so much now. That's crazy. And what the what the problem was before is that uh, uh, they had a little bit more arrow. Uh, something on your roof. Uh, they have those cargo bags, but it would damage. Yeah. And, uh, Not also. anymore. This whole yeah. thing. Uh, folds up into a backpack a little bit bigger than ours wow yeah look at this it makes it so much more versatile look at that on the glass and on the roof you can carry your, your bike up there i like this i'm gonna have to get some of these i really like this there's a fancy one right here That is super cool. Uh, he was saying like one of these is like about, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks. Uh, but they usually sell them as a kit. So everything is priced according to whatever your application is. There you go. Sea sucker. Check them out if you want to mount stuff to your vehicle.